In this video, we'll learn to calculate values of angles and or coordinates with 2D and 3D shapes. So the first thing that we'll start with is with a triangle. So how many or what do all the angles of a triangle add up to? And for that reason, I've got a triangle here and I'm going to mark all of its angles. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to tear it to bits. So I have three parts. And I'm going to put together these three angles of it that I marked. And as you can see, it adds up to 180, which is a straight line or half of a circle. So that is a very important thing to remember, 180 degrees. If you ever forget, kind of cut up a triangle and put all of its angles together. So based on that, if we have a triangle that has 90 degrees on one corner um, and we've got let's say 30 degrees so the other one must be 60 because 90 and 30 and 60 makes 180 so you're given two of the angles and you'll find the third one because all of them add together to 180 and that helps us because if we split any of these shapes into triangles that means that we can have 180 here and 180 there so this adds up to 360 so if you're given three of them you can work out the next one or the what is left and same thing here so you can cut this into two triangles, so 180 here and 180, so this should add up to 360. And same thing over here, 180 and 180 and 180. And same with all of these. So the key thing to remember is that the angles within a triangle add up to 180. But it's also worth remembering that um, a square has equal sides which are parallel to each other. So um, same thing when it comes to the parallel sides of a rectangle. So if we're given a plane and we're given two dimensions of a rectangle, we should be able to work out the coordinates all the other two dimensions of the rectangle so since this is one two three units long i'm going to go one two three and it's going to be parallel to this so it's got to be this coordinate here four comma four for this corner there and i can just join these two and it is one two units wide as well so that helps me with plotting find the coordinates and and with the angle now, linking 3D shapes with coordinates and angles. So, if this was showing maybe a room from this point of view, you could extend this to show this side or this wall. So, this has got to be parallel to this. And we would know that although it doesn't, it doesn't look like this in reality would be 90 degrees because we know the properties of rectangles and a wall is the shape of a rectangle. So this is going to be 90 degrees and this is going to be 90 degrees and this is going to be 90 and so on. So that's, although it doesn't look like, that's what it's going to be like. And this is going to be parallel to this one. And this is going to be 90 degrees, 90 degrees and so on. So again, we extend this to make it parallel to the other side. And this is parallel to this side and this of course 90 degrees 90 degrees and now this has got to be parallel to that and it's going to be of the same length and we make this to parallel to that other side obviously this needs a ruler and of course a protractor to measure the angles so this is going to be perpendicular, so we know this is going to be 90 degrees. So I've just drawn a cuboid in there, and it's uh, the shape of a room as well. Um, so based on this, you can continue with the roof. And 
and by knowing these two angles you should be able to work out what this angle here is as well and you know that this is 90 degrees and this is 90 and so on so we're using the knowledge of the 2d shapes when it comes to working with 3d shapes so whatever we learned about the angles of a triangle which add up to 180 degrees we can use it here so if this is 60 and this is 60 this is going to be 60 as well because they all add up to 180 